The purpose of this following video is to help cast down imaginations and every high thing that exalteth itself against the knowledge of God, and by showing these examples, help set people free from the enemy's agenda. Well hello folks, I hope you're all well. Today we're going to look at a couple of music videos which are quite popular in this culture today. Um, the first one here is, is from an artist called Poppy and the latter is going to be a look at a recent Beyonce concert. Now I have said before in recent times that I'm not going to do any more deep analysis of music videos and of the occult symbolism and things purely because I don't think it's healthy to go too deep into it, to focus too much on it, and I certainly don't want to lead people down any rabbit holes. So this today is just a surface look at uh, a warning about this agenda that is being played out in our culture. So this first one is by a musical artist called Poppy, and uh, she keeps singing in this song about being set free. And you see here that the, there's some transhumanist themes. You see here that she's in a, a pod, um, and she's singing in, the, in this song the lyrics about being set free, being set free. Because you can see here, she's not she's not free. She's in bondage, and she's also got this MK Ultra dual persona uh, theme going on. It reminds me of the Bible verse in two Peter. They they promise them liberty, but they themselves are slaves to corruption. So, should we really be following artists like this, who are promising liberty to their millions of fans, but really they are? Slaved, they are MK Ultra, they are part of this system of Babylon. And when she raises up her arm, you can see that she's got the stamp of the chip on her arm, on her right hand, on her right arm. And this horrible, evil, satanic figure, which seems to be overlooking the whole of this video, and um, you see that there again she pulls down her sleeve and you see that she's got that circuitry, that mark, that chip on her right arm. And she's uh, got, she's in, you see she's in shackles there, in chains. And then it, it's a very strange video, but it comes, this satanic figure, the demonic figure then comes and brings to her a white horse. So she's seen walking around with this white horse. And this is where I want to connect to Beyonce, because Beyonce has been seen with the red horse of the apocalypse in vogue on the front page just in the last few weeks. You've seen Beyonce posing on the front of the magazine with the red horse, a kind of mockery, a kind of sacrilegious stunt, but also pushing the agenda, the apocalyptic agenda that we see. And it says, Beyonce turns up the heat. So the, the red horse in the book of Revelation is to do with war. And it says, Beyonce turns up the heat. Now, a little caveat here. Remember that these people are just, they're following and serving uh, their master, the enemy. They are not in control. You know, the, the enemy kingdom can show things in, in society. But remember, remember through all of this, that these are not in control. Jesus Christ is in control. He is the one that opens the seals in the book of Revelation. God is one who is sovereign. He allows them to do what they're doing for a short time which will come to an end and God will destroy the works of darkness. So remember that even if there is this sense of pushing these agendas in your face, they are not the ones that are in control. So you can rest easy knowing that if you are saved by Jesus Christ, he is in control and he will be your saviour and he will keep you to the very end. Jesus said, lo, I am with you always, even to the very end of the world. So then we come to this other depiction, and very recently this was uh, in a concert by Beyonce where she's seen riding on a glistening metallic horse and she raises up above the crowd. Hey, 
looks a little bit like the Rolling Stone going over and then uh, Beyonce uh, appears in that and you see her these uh, these orbs of light going mm-hmm. round her this is pure witchcraft you'll see in a second it's renaissance is the name of the tour um but this is pushing witchcraft and transhumanism just in the same way as that poppy uh, video was doing there's these themes of transhumanism if you notice here going across you'll see that the there is an eye going across her body Do you hear you hear those words she's talking about? Beyond space and time and reality cannot hold her back, basically. To find a source to charge my inner being. A to find a source to charge my inner being. So it's all very new age stuff. I mean it's it's right in line with the views of Helena Blavatsky, Alice Bailey. And that's what's playing out here, this antichrist agenda, corrupting people through these rituals in the mainstream media, using these celebrities like idols. And you see there, you see there, the, the lights going across her and turning her into that metallic shade and this then goes into transhumanism, uh, the, the next level above human. I mean, we could talk about many philosophies that have probably led to this. Uh, we talked about Alice Bailey, Helena Blavatsky. You've got Nietzsche, who wanted that Uberman. And remember, the guy that is cited as being the founding father of transhumanism was a Jesuit. So, yeah, the... The rabbit hole agenda, they're trying to lead you into this stuff. They're trying to normalise the absurd. They're trying to... Uh, they're, they're conducting a revelation of the method. I uh, remember they want to teach people these Luciferian views, these Luciferian doctrines. They're bringing them out in the open. So even with the truth movement, you have to be careful, uh, even in the truth movement, because they actually use that as a way to initiate people as well. This is a a very strange time to be in. Um, But we see that there is an agenda of the enemy and it's always anti-Christ and anti-biblical, false doctrines, twisted, inverted doctrines to magnify the enemy and to lead people away from the gospel of Jesus Christ. But we're here now on YouTube telling you emphatically that Jesus Christ is the truth. The gospel is the truth. He died for your sins. He came to this earth. He died for your sins. This is a spiritual battle. The enemy is trying to distract you, is trying to deceive you. And you need to know today that if you are not saved from your sins against a holy God, You have to come to him in repentance and faith because this is real, folks, and hell is real. The devil and his angels will go to hell, will go to the lake of fire. But if you are caught up in this sin, if you are caught up in the enemy kingdom and not yet born again in Christ, then you will go to hell with them. You will go to hell for eternity if you don't come to the Lord Jesus Christ who is that rescue who is the way out, and the penalty has been paid at the cross of Jesus Christ. And on the third day, he rose again. God bless and thanks for watching.